Hello everyone and welcome to the first PAT Problems video. My name is Helena and I'm the Access and Outreach Manager for the Department of Materials at the University of Oxford. And today I'm going to be showing you one possible way of solving question 23 from the 2011 PAT paper. So this question is all about an electron moving through an electric and a magnetic field. So let's take a look. So as I read through this question, I'm just going to be underlining bits that I think are important to note for when we're looking through the solution in a moment. OK, so an electron initially at rest is accelerated by a potential V in a vacuum and then travels horizontally in a region of space where there's an electric field E and a magnetic field V. The fields are aligned such that the electron is subjected to a force EE upwards and a force EVB downwards, where E is the charge of the electron and V is its velocity. If E is this value and V is this value, what is the value of the initial accelerating voltage V for the electron to continue flying undeflected? OK, so that's quite a chunky wall of text there. So let's break it down and have a look at what's going on. So first things first, I'm going to draw myself a little sketch. OK, so we have our electron here initially at rest and accelerated through a potential V. And now we're told that it is moving horizontally in a region of space such that there's a force upwards EE e, and a force downwards EVB. And we're also told a few other values in this equation, in this question, so I'm just going to write them here. So we're told that the electric field E equals 1000 volts per meter. The magnetic field is 1 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. We're also told the mass of the electron being 10 to the minus 30 kilograms and its charge 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And what are we trying to find? We're trying to find its initial accelerating voltage V. OK, so we've set up our problem. We know what we're trying to find. So let's get to solving it. So the first thing that I think about in this question are the forces. And this statement here, which says that we want the electron to continue flying undeflected. So to me, that implies that the forces up and down have to remain balanced. So if we equate the balanced forces, we have the E, E equals E V B here. So we can cancel through the lowercase e's there and we have E equals V B and that's our first equation. So we've thought about the forces. What else have we got to think about? Well we can think about the energy. So as this electron is accelerated from rest through a potential V, we know that it's going to be given an energy equal to its charge times the potential V. So E V. And we know that that's going to be converted to kinetic energy. So we can equate that to a half mv squared. And there we have our second equation. So here we want to find this uppercase v here. But I can see that in these equations we have its velocity, its lowercase v, that we don't really want to be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange equations one and two to make the velocity the subject, and then we can get rid of that from the equations. So if I rearrange equation one, I have that V equals E over B. And if I rearrange equation 2, I have that V squared equals 2E V over M. And I'm going to leave this in terms of V squared because I think that's going to be easier to deal with than dealing with a big square root sign. So with that in mind, I'm going to square this equation. So we have V squared on this one too is equal to E squared over V squared. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to equate these two equations. So if I do that, I have that E squared over B squared equals 2EV over M. And I know that I want to find this potential V here. So I'm going to rearrange this equation so that the V is the subject. And I can see that we have ME squared over 2EB squared. There we go. So that's our equation for what we're trying to find. And we have all of the numbers for this up here. And we know that all of these are in SI units. So if I put them into this equation, the units should work out. You could check this, but I'm not going to do it just for time here. So if we put the numbers in here, we have the mass, which is 10 to the minus 30, 
times e squared, which is 1,000, all squared, divided by 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, times by b squared. And if we put this into our calculators, because we can use calculators now for the PAT, we find that this gives us a value of 31250 volts. Or if we want to write this in standard form and to an appropriate number of significant figures, we can write that as 3.1 times 10 to the 4 volts. And that is our answer. Brilliant. So I hope that was clear and I hope that was helpful. But if you have any questions, please pop them into the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Otherwise, we will see you next week where Catherine will be going through question three from this paper. So that'll be question three from 2011. So if you want to have a go at that before we go through it in the next video, please do. Otherwise, I will see you at the next video.